Welcome to the new season of The Context. In this season, we will talk about a lot of different topics around technology and how it impacts society, which is what we have been doing in the previous seasons as well. But we will uh, introduce new elements. Uh, a lot of you reached out to me and uh, wanted to provide advice on how to make the context even more compelling. And we have uh, taken that advice and incorporated it in this new season. So I welcome you and let's get into the topic of uh, this week, which is the future of work. A lot of us are concerned as we hear about artificial intelligence, robotics, and automation. We believe that uh, these developments in society are going to cause a disruption that we are not going to be able to cope with and the accumulating tension is going to cause disorders, social upheaval, maybe even violence or wars. And of course, I don't know uh, if uh, it is going to be able, uh, it is going to be possible to uh, universally prevent uh, any of these uh, from happening or all of these uh, from happening. But I do believe that the dangers uh, of these transformations are um, seen superior to what reality uh, is going to bring. Uh, yes, uh, these technologies are very powerful. However, human talent, human creativity, human ingenuity, human passion, uh, human ambition are going to be a part of the future regardless of how powerful the technologies that we surround ourselves with um, show themselves to be. The very simple reason is that we will take advantage of the tools and expand the uh, dreams that we can realize. We will be able to be more ambitious using those uh, technologies rather than being limited by the inferior technologies in what we can do. And as our ambitions and opportunities expand, that will represent the new kind of work, the new jobs and the new uh, ways of both making a living as well as building a dignified life that uh, will support more and more people. We don't have to fear AI and robots and automation. We have to embrace it because the lives of too many people are limited by the insufficient technologies that are at their disposal. Think of the life of a farmer in the Middle Ages. Um, his choices were extremely limited. Uh, it is illustrated perfectly how limited these choices were by uh, the fairy tales that uh, we inherited from those ages that talk about princesses and dragons and the seventh son um, killing the dragon, marrying the princess, inheriting the kingdom. Those fairy tales embody the sheer impossibility of all of those dreams. And we today can be proud of the fact that so many things that would appear as part of a fairy tale to someone from the Middle Ages are indeed part of the daily lives of ourselves as well as an increasing number of people all around the world. Think about it, the possibility of studying, the possibility of receiving nourishing food and clean water, the possibility of planning ahead and knowing that if you do invest in your future, you will reap the benefit of that investment. Today we have the ability to communicate uh, with practically anyone all over the planet and uh, we can understand each other 
better thanks to platforms and tools of communication and coordination. We can form groups and these groups can achieve uh, their goals, projects that are ambitious, concrete and generate value. This kind of remote collaboration wasn't possible until 10 or 20 years ago and today is very effective. And this remote collaboration uh, started maybe in uh, very specific uh, types of jobs like that of a developer uh, who could just uh, code away uh, on his keyboard uh, looking at his monitor and then deliver uh, the results, the code uh, periodically every day or every week uh, uh, to the team that uh, he's part of or um, in an in a independent fashion as a freelancer to, to the client. Today, uh, we understand that sales and marketing, project management, but also uh, design and many other uh, tasks uh, are digital and can be delivered not only within the environment of an office, but anywhere in the world. And our understanding of how the various teams uh, can be coordinated optimally, uh, how the rhythm, uh, the emotion, the passion of a team can be channeled towards high productivity is also perfected. We have tools uh, in order to chat in real time, uh, to move away from the more cumbersome uh, medium of email uh, to uh, these types of uh, modern uh, communications that still accumulate knowledge within the group that is not lost, but is searchable, it's well indexed, it's threaded uh, in the conversations that are divided in various groups or channels and so on. So as the tools evolve, as our understanding of how the tasks evolve, it is evident that open opportunities are available to everyone. We just have to grab the opportunities and to make sure that we leverage them. That is why I am so excited uh, to be involved in one of the most advanced projects that uh, live at the convergence of these various trends. Remote work, flexible work, online collaboration, digital uh, uh, jobs, and it is Torre, T-O-R-R-E, Torre in Spanish means tower, founded by Alex Torre Negra, whom I've known for 10 years, and who is a successful entrepreneur originally from Colombia, uh, who founded two companies, uh, each in a specific uh, niche in online work and online collaboration took his uh, insight uh, further uh, at a layer of abstraction and realized Torre, which is a platform for your uh, professional genome. It is a platform for finding remote digital online work but also finding other teams, for finding talent. If you are on the other side, rather than a job seeker, a talent seeker. And Torre uses artificial intelligence in order to analyze and match at a high confidence an individual to a job, but also individuals to teams. So that uh, the skills that you want to develop, further develop. The skills that you are not interested in developing are not part of your job description. The uh, matching of uh, certain characteristics of the individual with the teams that they will find themselves working in so that the satisfaction uh, of both is maximized, churn is reduced, and uh, effectiveness and productivity increase. Torre, as an organization itself, uh, is uh, doing what it preaches. Uh, it uses Torre for finding uh, talent. 
but also it is a remote distributed team with uh, team members in over 20 countries and investors uh, in uh, um, over uh, four uh, continents uh, in many uh, countries uh, in the world. In the uh, company is expanding very rapidly. There are, as I speak today, over half a million uh, members of, on the platform, growing exponentially, uh, and uh, opening your profile is uh, very easy. Uh, it incorporates uh, very uh, lean and modern techniques in order to rapidly create the profile, but also uh, to create connections. Rather than the old-fashioned uh, uh, method of uh, networking uh, with the cumbersome confirmations uh, link, uh, uh, that you can find in uh, platforms like LinkedIn, for example, uh, Tora uses uh, what it calls signals. The signals uh, indicate that uh, you are looking forward to be working with someone in the future, maybe, or with their organization. And together with hundreds of other data points, uh, Torre enables you to create a profile that is rich, lean, effective. The uh, platform, of course, is at the beginning. It will enrich itself with so many uh, opportunities for those of us who are looking for enriching our lives and making work fulfilling in the future. Think about it. Is it acceptable that uh, if you do a survey, 80% of the people will respond that uh, they find their work uh, boring, uh, not engaging, unfulfilling? In the future, not too far, but rather close, we will be able uh, to turn this completely around. All of us will find jobs that will give dignity to the individual and the communities that we live in and that will enable us to thrive, to acquire new skills, to apply our curiosity, uh, to keep learning uh, in order to provide value uh, to the society that we are part of. And this is already available to everyone today. There are 5 billion people of working age on the planet and 4 billion of them are still without a professional profile. So there is a lot to do and together uh, we can go ahead on this path where artificial intelligence, robots and automation are not enemies but uh, allies in order to make work fulfilling for everyone.